Got another question on the aromatic chemistry topic. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you wanted to try it first. Okay, so for the first part, we've got to draw the structure of ethanoic anhydride, so it looks like that. The other organic product, well, if we think about what's happening, we've lost a hydrogen um, to put this group on here. So that hydrogen is going to react with or combine with the remainder of the ethanoic anhydride and give you ethanoic acid. Calculation now. So the first thing we'll calculate is the moles of um, phenylamine. So mass over MR. That's the number I'm quoting in my answer, but I've got the full number in my calculator. So the moles of A that would form would be the moles of phenylamine multiplied by 0.61, which is 61%. So that's how many moles we'll actually make. Again, the full number's in the calculator. And then all I need to do is multiply the moles of A that we're going to get by its MR. And to three significant figures, 2.66 grams. Moving on to the mechanism, so the first thing we'll do is show the creation of the electrophile. So that's the two acids, concentrated acids, sulfuric and nitric, react together to form the nitronium ion. That's the equation that accompanies that reaction. Then the next part is we take the aromatic compound and the electrophile. Pair of electrons comes out of the delocalizing of pi electrons to the electrophile, which gives us this intermediate here. And then all I need to do is take a pair of electrons from the carbon-hydrogen bond and go back in to reform that delocalized ring of pi electrons. So that's going to give me my product and an H plus ion. And then all we need to do is show how the sulfuric acid acts as a catalyst. So basically, we've just got to get it back. So we take the HSO4 minus ion created in the first reaction, combine it with the H plus that's just come off the benzene ring, and that gives you your H2SO4 back.